So I'm Anil Seth, I'm Professor of Cognitive and Computational Neuroscience at the University of Sussex, where I also co-direct the Sackler Centre for Consciousness Science, and I'm also now Editor-in-Chief of Neuroscience in Consciousness. Understanding how the brain gives rise to conscious experience really is one of the most outstanding and significant challenges for 21st century science. Consciousness is at once the most familiar and the most mysterious aspect of our existence. It defines our lives. Without consciousness, there is no world, there is no self, there is really nothing at all. But we still don't understand how the complex buzzing of the billions of neurons inside our skulls gives rise to this rich, subjective world of inner experience. So there's a great challenge here, and neuroscience is now at the point where we have the tools to look inside the brain at what goes on during perception, behaviour, and during experience. But we still need to close this gap between this greater mechanistic understanding of what the brain is doing and the features of conscious experience itself. So there's a basic science aspect. There's also an important clinical aspect too. So there are many uh, disorders which can be thought of as disorders of consciousness. These can be conditions like the vegetative state or coma following severe brain injury, but also psychiatric conditions and even dementia and other things like Tourette syndrome can be all considered, at least from one perspective, as a disruption in the way people experience the world. So another important reason to focus on the neuroscience of consciousness is to develop new approaches to the diagnosis and treatment of a broad range of, of clinical disorders. So there is a new journal, this journal called Neuroscience of Consciousness is dedicated to providing a channel and to help shape this accelerating field which aims to close this gap between our understanding of the brain and our understanding of conscious experience. There is a lot of work being done within biology and within psychology and within philosophy that is very relevant to exposing the brain mechanisms of consciousness. But there is not yet uh, a prestigious single outlet that focuses on empirical neuroscience work that uh, provides a channel for dissemination for this important research. So this new journal is, is, aims to provide exactly that and what we want to do is present a venue for the highest quality research in the neuroscience of consciousness, both from the basic science and the clinical application angle. So the neuroscience of consciousness has an extremely talented editorial board which will ensure its success. Uh, there are two deputy editors that, which handle uh, different areas of the field. So Professor Jakob Hochwi, who is based in Melbourne, Australia, is a philosopher but also an experimental psychologist and neuroscientist. So he combines both this important philosophical aspect of the study of consciousness with lab-based research. And then we have Biu Jade Hay, at the National Institutes of Health in the USA who's done outstanding work on the neural basis of conscious experience and the difference between conscious and unconscious processing. The neuroscience of consciousness at the moment stands at a very exciting time. After being in the background for most of the 20th century, the last 15 years or so have seen a great acceleration in work dedicated to unravelling the neural basis of conscious experience. So I see an enormous potential for how this science continues to develop over the next few years. Now for the journal, I think over the next four or five years, we will see uh, it becoming a major player within this increasingly influential part of 21st century science to become one of the most important venues for publishing the best research in the area. In the longer term, of course, I think this understanding of the brain basis of consciousness will be one of the great chapters of 21st century science. And so what I would like to think is that the neuroscience of consciousness will play a major part, not just in telling, but in writing this great adventure.